kindly rise for the entrance. The Franciscan Friars in India offer masses for the following intentions. For the soul of Dr. Philomena de Souza by family members, souls of Eloisius and Alda de Souza by family members, departed souls of Ernest Juliet Fernando Jacinta Nirmala by Rajendran and family, soul of Mary Vargis Pangat by Korean and family, soul of Leticia by Michael Benjamin and family, soul of Mrs. Madhavi Menon by Suresh Menon and family, Souls of Rita Francis and S. Francis by Prakash Francis and family. Soul of Anna P.K. by George and family. Souls in the family by Vargis and family. Soul of Agnel de Souza by Jude and Pearl. Soul of Dhanya Baiju by Baiju Manuel and family. Soul of Mary Josephine and Peter by Benny and family. Soul of Lily Benedict by Alexander and family. First death anniversary by of Geeta Amrit Raj by Vimal Raj and family. Souls of Zita and Isdor Vego by Matilda de Souza and family. Departed souls of the family by Gladys de Souza and family. First death anniversary of Lucy Maheshwari by Michael and family. Soul of Mary Vargis Panigat on the 27th death anniversary by Benny Panigat and family. Special intention by Joy Epon and family. Special intention for Anto Grenold by Ernest Rajendran and family. Special intention Pushpa and Anne. Good health and speedy recovery of uh, Rovaldan Colasso by Candice Colasso. Special intention for speedy recovery of Agnolo, Agnello de Souza by Christabel and Ignatius. Thanksgiving by Ernest Rajendran and family. Thanksgiving for all favors received by Saroj Joshua. Thanksgiving on the birthday of Melden Marvin Morris by Flavia and Santosh. Thanksgiving by Jennifer de Souza and family. Thanksgiving by Venetia, Kenneth, Sachin, Philip. Thanksgiving to Mother Mary and St. Anthony for all the favors received by Mary Aksha and Ryan. Thanksgiving to Infant Jesus by Gladys de Souza and family. Thanksgiving on the 11th wedding anniversary of Jerome and Teresina by Jerome and family. Thanksgiving for the favors received by Andrew Kevin. Thanksgiving by Sujay Paul and family for the intentions of Eric and Melissa for a big family and for a vocation. Thanksgiving by Francis and Teresa Andrade for the special intention of Terifa Andrade. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to welcome all of you for this Eucharistic celebration. The church today celebrates the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. You can see him very romantic in the nature. Perhaps that is one aspect of him. Today we honor him, we love him, we want to show our respect to him as well as a parish, as a community here. As a community of St. Anthony's Friary Parish, we have been living our lives as meaningfully as possible 
in our own family situation and as a bigger family as a parish we want to thank god for each one of us those who are present here and those who are attending mass online at home those who are not able those who are sick in the hospitals and at home and especially during this mass we remember those people who have suffered during this lockdown during this covid virus and people who are still recovering we remember and pray for them brothers and sisters i invite all of you to join in this celebration to thank god as the word eucharist rightly means so and this saint had so much of love for the eucharist that he could see the lord walking on the altar such was his admiration such was his love and faith and to that celebration we have all gathered this morning i welcome you and ask you to please close your eyes for a moment folding our hands coming before god's presence everlasting presence as saint jo as prophet jonah would say a god who is full of kindness love slow to anger and abounding in his mercy we come to him with all our sins our weaknesses our failures our moments of confusion doubts questions our own sickness our own issues and tensions individually at home and our situation in our church we offer them to god and ask the lord to purify us to forgive us as we say together i confess to almighty god and you my brothers and sisters greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Yeah. 
Saint Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility. Grant that by walking in Francis's footsteps, we may follow your Son and through joyful charity come to be united with you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I accounted wealth as nothing in comparison with wisdom. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I called upon God and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepters and thrones and I accounted wealth as nothing in comparison with her. Neither did I liken to her any priceless gem, because all gold is but a little sand in her sight, and silver will be accounted as clay before her. I loved her more than health and beauty, and I chose to have her rather than light, because her radiance never ceases. All good things came to me along with her, and in her hands uncounted wealth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exalt. Then teach us to number our days that we may gain wisdom of heart turn back O Lord how long show pity to your servants fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exult. At dawn, fill us with your merciful love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy for the days of our affliction for the years when we look upon evil fill us with 
you merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exult. Let your deed be seen by your servants and your glorious power by their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Oh, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exult. Fill us with your merciful love, O Lord, and we shall exult. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints, of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intention of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight. But all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him whom we must give account. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord at that time as jesus was setting out on his journey a man ran up to him and asked him good teacher what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not fraud. Honor your father and your mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go, sell that you have and give it to the poor, and you will inherit, you will have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. 
and the disciples were amazed at his words but Jesus said to them again children how difficult it is to enter the kingdom of God it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God and they were exceedingly astonished and said to him then who can be saved Jesus looked at them and said with man it is impossible but not with God for all things are possible with God Peter began to say to him see we have left everything and followed you Jesus said truly I say to you there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters a mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a, a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ may the lord give you peace my brothers and sisters happy feast to all of you today somebody must some people must be thinking what these fathers are celebrating today what feast why saint francis the parish church here has been served by the franciscan friars for the last 60 plus years so the patron of us friars is saint francis of assisi as the founder of the order of friars minor or generally called as franciscans the patron of the parish is saint anthony who also belongs and followed the lifestyle of saint francis of assisi today we friars are grateful to god and we all as a parish as a community i'm sure we too are happy and want to thank god for saint francis who got a new lease of life through the papacy of saint francis pope francis pope francis from the time he took the name francis has been promoting the spirituality the lifestyle of saint francis whether it is for the church as an institute and structure whether it is for family whether it is for children whether it is for youth whether it is for the creation for the ecology this person is a wonderful patron an example for all of us saying this alone may not be enough i may have to prove it and very providentially the readings of the day today sunday we have not chosen any special readings but of the 28th ordinary sunday the readings are so apt to describe the life of saint francis today i recognize as i share this reflection with you that even though he is our founder at least in me i recognize that i am very far away from his ideals miles and miles and miles nowhere close to him from what he lived and perhaps that is quite the story of many franciscans and many others in fact when saint francis was alive so many family members rushed to him seeing his lifestyle they too wanted to live a life like him and to them he began what we call as the secular franciscan order or the third order regulars or we call them as the family movements all over the world today brothers and sisters the readings today are so characteristic of the christian life that you and me are called to of which saint francis tried to live religious life is called as the perfection of love perfection of charity and this person 
is the ideal for it. The spirituality and the life of Saint Francis matters here and now for you and me. When Saint Francis in the 12th century was busy as a young man going around the streets dancing singing like any other jovial person something struck him something was happening something was disturbing and should be even now even to you and me something should disturb us as we move around and something disturbed him and he asked a question through different experiences in the chapel as he was kneeling before the crucifix he asked a question a very relevant question that you and me even ask today lord what do you want me to do lord what do you want me to do how relevant this question is for you and me today that i also in my daily life ask it several times lord at this juncture at this situation at this context at this tension at this problem lord what do you want me to do and the life story of saint francis goes further saying that saint francis began to pray remember he was already a wonderful catholic like all of us he was a church goer but only now he started to pray meaning he started to spend some time before the lord before the crucifix and during this time one day he went to an elderly priest who was in the chapel and asked him i want to know what the lord wants of me i want to know the will of god and the story says that he opened the bible he opened the scripture three times as we recognize today that while we may all have bibles today in our hands in our families in our in our uh, personal bag maybe wherever suppose some of you do not have please rush hurry it is necessary it is life it is word of god and if some of you have already i recommend that they be dusted they be cleaned they be opened i will tell you why as saint francis opened the scripture three times all the three times similar message came of that what we read today in the gospel you want to be perfect you want to be happy you want to gain eternal life you want to be a joyful person go sell what you have give up what you have give to the poor if you can come and follow me elsewhere when some people wanted to join jesus he says go sell all you have and come after me elsewhere jesus says that a person who decides to plow his hands on the plow he cannot look back he has to move forward these three contexts touch deeply saint francis and he acclaimed loudly and he said this is what i wish this is what i want this is what i want to do with all my heart this is exactly what i was looking forward this is why my heart was disturbed this is what i was not happy with myself i have been roaming around spending my time now i recognize that this is what the lord wants me to do that i need to give up i need to let go i need to sell off i need to follow him and he did it literally he did it he was a rich father son he even gave up his father before the bishop and said i do not call this earthly father whose name was peter but i call you as my father he gave up let go he joined a wonderful way of life which we today honor love and proclaim and this particular event in his life namely opening the scripture three times recognizing the will of god in it and doing it was what saint francis was known for but as he moved forward he had a doubt he wondered whether he should live 
a contemplative life inside or an active life going around serving preaching proclaiming he asked his brothers to go to the monastery where his friend and sister claire was and her sisters were this is the beauty and the meaning of this person that this person who is already blessed who is already a saintly person when he is in doubt he is inquiring he is asking someone to find the will of god for him some prayerful person some genuine and honest person who can pray to god who can reveal to me the will of god so saint francis was not just a seeker of god's will directly with god just not what the word of god alone but even with the holy people he asked god lord what do you want me to do he opened the scriptures and found that this is what god wants me to do and now he wants to confirm with the holy person saint francis recognized through the prayers and understanding of claire that he needs to live both contemplative and active life like mary and martha when jesus met them in the house he told mary as well as martha is well we need both we need to sit at the feet of the master and we also need to be busy in our work or in the kitchen brothers and sisters this saint francis therefore becomes a wonderful example and inspiration for us like solomon in the first reading i love this reading when solomon says lord i pray that you may send the wisdom that sits by your right hand to me why that when wisdom comes to me lord everything else will come but when everything else comes wisdom may not come this is beautiful wisdom for us from the book of wisdom today lord you send me wisdom and with wisdom i may have everything but if i am going to look for everything i may lose the most essential wisdom itself through which i need to guide and lead my life saint francis is one of those persons who constantly sought to know the will of god seeking constantly what god wants us to do praying for god's wisdom and not worldly wisdom not searching on google always where to go where to buy today's food where to order the clothing as someone put it beautifully today there is a big festival in flipkart in amazon the best way to save your money is to please delete the apps this person sought what to do in life where to go how to live through constantly seeking god's will brothers and sisters this is a major difference between perhaps the religion that you and me follow today christianity whom we worship jesus who constantly went and prayed quietly mornings evenings and continuously was in line with god's will in this i understand through the life of saint francis that your life and my life as christians today is not two ways of life namely that my spirituality is one thing but my daily life is something else that as christians we recognize that our spirituality our religion our god whom we worship the prayers that we say the mass that we celebrate is not something disconnected from my daily life no but rather one comes from the other one depends on the other they are mutually beneficial to each other that my religion my faith my belief in god is what actually sets me out and when i go out what i live is what i am inspired and touched by when i am inside and therefore for francis to be a contemplative and to be an active was two parts of his very life 
that he could live a prayerful meditative constantly seeking god's will as a very spiritual person and that he was not different outside either that he could relate with everyone he could call everyone as brother and sister not just the people not just a formal greeting as we priests do my dear brothers and sisters but this man saw in the other a brother a sister but not just that his spirituality went one step beyond he even related with the nature and he found the different parts of nature different creation in the nature is also part and parcel of his spirituality so he can call willingly the birds in the air the animals in the field as brothers and sisters why because this man constantly seeking god's will was overwhelmed by the love of god by his character by his identity as god who is creator and a loving god and saint francis recognized that the more he seeks what god wants of him the more he is able to relate brothers and sisters this aspect of saint francis is so much relevant today in our world this relationship this desire to relate with the others this desire to relate with the other as my brother and sister when we recognize in our own country perhaps in our own city in our own state here and in different states we have programmed communalization division calling other religions as not ours not belonging here people communities groups who are making their own laws and governing them as well when people openly in the public meetings call out others in names that we can't imagine when in our own world in our own country in our own city in and around our own system does not function because of the corruption that is so much deeper the life of saint francis inspires us we are called to relate we are called to build a community we are called to relate both with people and with the nature and therefore when saint francis told his brothers that when you go around other religion do not go boastfully do not go as the superior but when you go among the others go humbly carrying the peace of christ in your heart live among them lovingly and in relation with the other don't lord over them and in the recent sharing of pope francis pope francis says today when we talk about mission and evangelization because month of october is dedicated to missions pope francis says today as a church we cannot think of actively proselytizing people forcing others to accept us and convert to us pope is saying this today but rather in and through our life we become light we become salt we become inspiration we become catalyst we become a way forward for the world to come it's not that everybody is going to be like you and me it's not possible it has not happened so far we do not know how far it will go as we recognize that in the 8 billion people in the world only about 1 point billion are christians rest are not so we recognize while a challenge is there for us to live our religion the wonderful values that jesus has given us humbly but also courageously as i recognize in my own friars and many other missionaries whom i met in so many mission places who live their life humbly who live among the others 
who become a source of inspiration what is christianity look at these people the way they live but let us recognize humbly today that we are not all that ideal our church is not all that ideal as it should be it is also marred by many scandals many problems many divisive groups within the church many divisions within the catholic community you go to a parish you have got so many divisions and some people openly boast about their divisions they are not ashamed to go public about their divisions thus giving a wrong witness to the very faith that you and me profess and this man saint francis of assisi today is a universal brother inviting the universe to come together in the name of god to be a brother and sister to each other a call that is very relevant today a challenge that is in our hands today and an inspiration that we need today to leave our life and go onwards brothers and sisters as the second reading tells us the word of god is double edged sword is what actually affected st francis and that is my appeal to you that is my recommendation to you if you have a bible please dust it clean it open it i'm telling you it works so jesus says with humans it's not possible but with god it's possible god makes things possible if god can make things possible we need to search it in the world that is before us for which we need to have a copy of the bible we need to open it we need to turn pages god still makes things possible for us i believe in it i know it it's done for me wonders and i know it has done in the lives of so many people i have heard i have witnessed and if those of you have doubts those of you have questions like saint francis lord what do you want me to do ask ask today ask now go to him give one chance for the world to have effect in your life god makes all things possible he made a young man of assisi into a wonderful saint who is relevant even now he will make your life my life relevant today god makes all things possible for you and me brothers and sisters and now let us all stand and profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down and his spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified on the pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen Brothers and sisters gathered on this Lord's day celebrating the feast of Saint Francis we recognize how much we are in need of his goodness and mercy let us offer him all our prayers our petitions like Saint Francis humbly in trust and faith in him
your response shall be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer let us pray for our holy father francis our archbishop all the bishops priests and religions that through the detachment from the worldly positions they may effectively announce the gospel to their flock your response shall be lord hear our, our prayer. prayer let us pray for all the leaders of the world that uprooting the greed from their heart they may serve the people entrusted to them with love and care let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. Let us pray for the Christians whom greed and dishonesty have led away from Christ that they may realize that Jesus is their only treasure and his words are the only means of everlasting success your response shall be lord hear our prayer let us pray for our parish community and for each one of us that we may sincerely examine the quality of our christian life in the light of god's word personally announced to us by jesus at our sunday mass our response shall be lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer now i ask once again all of you to please close your eyes for a moment offering to god our personal petitions i know there are some of us who go through such a lot on a daily basis we think that nothing is going to happen to us but no god is going to make things possible for us for those of us who suffer loneliness sickness tensions and worries people who are in the hospitals at home elderly sick our children and our youth god our father who makes all things possible we offer you all our prayers and petitions our personal desires and all that we are not able to express aloud we ask you to make all things possible for us through christ our lord amen, amen. brothers and sisters as every year on the feast of saint francis of assisi the friars have a practice of literally begging honestly speaking begging but we are doing it very officially formally so on this day last sunday we had given you the envelopes you are uh, you are asked to bring them today to offer them during the offer tree those of you who have not brought you can any time bring and give or you want to give today you are most welcome to give today please help the education of our brothers they are ever grateful to you and we remain always grateful to you thank you for your love and for your support pray brothers and sisters that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to god our loving father may the mass be sacrificed at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good of all his holy church 
As we bring you these offerings, O oh Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the Saint Francis, who consecrated himself to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with the, all the angels and saints we praise you as without and we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Oh 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, with Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Alphonsus, Saint Anthony, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us call God our Father in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, worries and sickness, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now, once again, may I request all of you to please close your eyes for a moment. We offer this moment for the gift of peace. Peace in our hearts, in our families, in our parish, in our world. We, we pray for that peace which Jesus alone can give us which St. Francis enjoyed in his heart. May that peace be in each one of our heart. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now offer to each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. Amen. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please note that the Holy, Ca Holy Communion which is going to be distributed right now can be received only by Catholics. 
non-Catholic brothers and sisters kindly refrain from receiving it. Please keep seated as I say the final thanksgiving prayer. Perhaps we can close our eyes for a moment, offering to God our thanks, our praise for all that He is to us. And in the words of St. Francis, all praise, all glory belongs to you, Lord. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received, that imitating the charity and apostolic zeal of St. Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
announcements. Today is the 28th ordinary Sunday of the year. My dear brothers and sisters, the feast of St. Francis of Assisi is being celebrated in our parish today. And immediately after the Mass, the Fathers will be blessing your vehicles in their respective places and also we will be blessing your pets in front of our Lady's Grotto. On, a, on this feast day, my dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of our Provincial Reverend Father Praveen de Souza, who is here, who celebrated this Mass for us, and also all the friars of our community, we wish each and every one of you a happy feast of St. Francis. Happy feast to you all. Wish you the same, Father. Thank you. This week, Monday and Friday, the evening Masses will be in Kannada. Tuesday and Thursday, the evening Masses will be in Tamil. The Sacrament of Confirmation will be administered to our parish children on the 20th of November at 5 p.m. by His Grace, Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, the Archbishop of Bangalore. Adults who have not received confirmation may kindly meet any of the priests and register your names for the Sacrament of Confirmation. First Holy Communion will be given to our parish children on the following days. For Tamil-speaking children on the 14th of November during the 7 a.m. Mass, for English-speaking children on the same day, that is 14th November at 11 a.m. Mass, and for Canada-speaking children on the 21st November at 9 a.m. Mass. Kindly note, there will be no Konkani Mass on the 14th of November. Last Sunday's Mass collection was Rs. 81,179. We thank you for your generous offering. May God bless you and your families. Dear brothers and sisters, as we are celebrating the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi in our parish today, to add to the festivity, the Friday brothers have organized a few homemade food stalls and we have very few breakfast items but of course we have quite a number of chicken biryani available at the counter. The coupon counter is in front or beside the church. You need to buy the coupons and produce them at the food counter to avail the food. And of course, the proceeds will go for their formation. We request you to kindly patronize it. And we also have the facility if you want to donate or if you want to sponsor any of the brothers' formation studies. We have the swiping machine. You can use them. Or we have the QR code also for your generous contribution. Therefore, after the Mass, we request you to kindly patronize especially the biryani counter and definitely those of you who have not prepared at home Lavina did not prepare no so you can pack five or six and take it along and very few are available those who hurry only might get so we request you to kindly sponsor the studies of our brothers also and we want to give you best of the biryani prepared within our campus. We didn't buy from outside and it is prepared just near our cellar and our volunteers are selling. I'd like to thank also the three persons who decorated St. Francis of Assisi statue here on the altar that is Joy, Prakash and Stephen. And they did a very good work it is artificial, but it looks very natural. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we thank them and let us give them a big round of applause for their artistic work. They kept one sheep in front, the other side they call it uh, swan, I, I don't know. And they made another dog and it was look, looking like dinosaurus. And, and I asked him to take the picture in Google Lens and find out what it could be called. They made dog but it turned out to be dinosaurus. I said no need. So they kept it there. The other birds are real. 
okay they might fly off after we leave the church so once again my dear brothers and sisters all of you a happy feast of saint francis of assisi it's a joy to celebrate this feast with you all and especially our provincial father praveen celebrated this mass and prayed for all of us once again all the best and have a nice afternoon let's up immediately after this mass there will be the blessing of vehicles father will pray from here and the priest will go around blessing the vehicles but in front of the grotto we will bless all the pets thank you brothers and sisters before you stand i would like to have a word of gratitude to all of you there are many of you who have been helping us supporting us in various ways we friars are always grateful to you we remember you and we thank god for you we pray for your families there are many of you who are constantly supporting our friars we want to thank you some of you may be thinking what is sponsoring you may please approach the friars there who are sitting there are brothers who do their studies you are most welcome to give whatever you can this is corona time lockdown time difficult time so we are not making we are not forcing anyone to pay but those who can those who can afford those who can contribute and you are contributing indirectly to the mission of the church you are most welcome i am here the parish team is there you are always welcome to meet us if you would like to help any brothers in their education i invite many of you who may not have come forward to please come forward nearly and do this wonderful work as well happy feast to all of you and have a wonderful sunday please stand for the final blessing we have two fathers here father basil who has come all the way from bombay to celebrate uh, the feast here father i forgot your name please michael father michael also is here he is regular here he comes away very now and then we thank both of them for joining us in this feast mass and praying for all of us let us pray the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing may the lord bless you and keep you amen, amen. may he show his face to you and be gracious to you amen may he turn his countenance towards you and grant you his peace amen and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit let us go in the peace and joy of christ thanks be to god thank you for joining us for this mass thanks to all those who attend online as well have a wonderful sunday wish you the same father